This is Trinity. My name is William Goodluck. The last name is spelled G-O-E-T-L-U-C-K. I'm a World War II veteran, U.S. Navy. I served aboard the, uh, the USS Midas. It was an LST. We assisted in uh, the invasion of New Guinea and the Philippine Islands. Thank you. Thank you. It's Harold Ruffing and I served in the U.S. Navy during the Korean War. I was stationed at Moffett Field in California. I was with the VR-3 Aero Squadron. I worked on aircraft there, and I served my time during the Korean War and was discharged. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello, my name is Walter Brems. I enlisted in 1953, aged 19, in the U.S. Air Force. During my four-year active duty ending in 1957, I, I signed, it, um, I spent, I'm sorry, two years with a SAC wing at Hunter Air Force Base, Savannah, Georgia, and was overseas in the United States, uh, in the United Kingdom. Coming back home to Brooklyn, New York, I enlisted in the New York, in the New York Air National Guard and stationed at the, with the Guard in upstate Newburgh, New York for another 28 years and discharged with rank of Master Sergeant for E-7. All these, all these years were in the administration field, never served in combat. Thank you, Lord. But I met people from all walks of life. It was a very good experience. And I do miss the military. And I thank you for this interview. Thank you. Hello, this is Randy Clements. Happy 4th of July. I served 28 years in the Navy and had a good time. I served all over the world. And believe it or not, in 28 years, I never served aboard ship. I was a cryptologic technician and we just didn't have the equipment aboard ship for us to uh, do our job. So I've served uh, on the land in Scotland, Philippines, Puerto Rico, uh, U.S., lots of different places. With a wonderful career, I'm glad to see you today and I hope you have a great 4th of July. Okay, my name is Miles Mitchell and it's M-I-L-E-S-M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L. And I was a uh, sergeant in the United States Army, and I was uh, stationed at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and Fort Lewis, Washington. And uh, I was uh, came in second place in the country in uh, machine gun competition in Soldier Fortune magazine. And by the time I went overseas or anything like that, I just basically sent me back. And this is what I do now. My son's a fireman here in town. And uh, other than that, I hang in there and I do everything right. And, Work hard. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Russell Gore. I'm a proud veteran of the Navy. I served during Vietnam. I was uh, I was a mine man. I went to six months of uh, A school in Charleston, South Carolina, and from there I was deployed to the Republic of the Philippines, where which I was stationed at Navmag Subic for a year and a half. And my job was to assemble, disassemble, and test underwater mines. As you can see, I did a good job because. I'm living proof I'm still here. And I was very proud to be in the, in the service, especially in the Navy, and I thank all my fellow veterans as well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jan Clements. I was in the U.S. Navy Reserves for 14 years. I was an intelligence specialist first class when I got out in 2001. My earliest years was with the Reserve Intelligence Program Office out of Washington, D.C., where I did a lot of various things and then I transferred to the Space Command, which was out in Ashburn, Virginia. We did a lot of bomb damage assessment. I did a much image analysis from both air breather airplanes 
and reconnaissance uh, satellites. Uh, it's, in all in all, it was a very rewarding trip. I supported all of the uh, exercises of both Air Force and Navy. And when my daughter became pregnant with our first grandson, I decided it was time for me to get out and continue civilian life. Remember that you go nowhere by accident. Wherever you go, God is sending you. Wherever you are, God has put you there. God has a purpose in you being there. Christ, who indwells you, has something he wants to do through you where you are. Believe this and go in his grace and power and love. Amen. This is Trinity.